Earthy, we've got a little problem. We're losing the millennial audience, uh, you know, uh, not enough sex, too much talk about old men. We need... What? Get back to Roxana. Okay. Roxana. Uh, yeah, Roxana. Let's talk about Roxana, the clickbait chick, you know. Um, every humid afternoon, uh, she would go down in a basket, one of those hemp baskets, get uh, pulled down and uh, uh, hang out in the lowland <laughs> malaria region where Falcon is forced to camp um, and run wild. Uh, through fields of uh, lavender to freshen up uh, larkspur, psychedelic rainbow tulips, which means turban in Turkish. Tulip look like a turban, and their moss look like opium poppies. Um, yeah, she'd run naked through the fields. Mm -hmm. Roses, uh, mulberry, uh, larkspur, cannabis, especially cannabis. Yeah, she would like mm -hmm, rub up through those plants and um, to create a fine layer of microscopic pollen and after that she would run right into Falcon's camp and flip flip up his tent flap and appear before him still glistening <laughs> breathing heavily and um, naked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, when Falcon sees her, he immediately... <laughs> and then uh, tidies up because <laughs> he's got company. Uh, for another afternoon with his how does she ever come into his life and he get his hands on her Co uh, courtesan uh, chick uh, and uh, for another afternoon of <laughs> so um, yeah uh, and this flower lady <laughs> Um, she gets on, humps upon herself. She throws her saddle over a uh, naked falcon. And, well, when she was a young girl, she rode camels a lot. And uh, the men pointed out to her that Two humps were better than one. And uh, this camel humping uh, came in handy when she became a femme fatale. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard to s stop when you start humping. Um, yeah, she feeds her nipples into Falcon's mouth to... Um, Pollinate his allergies. Uh, yeah, and then after she she gets off, after he, you know, does his own hard rock trip, uh, and you know, uh, lies back on her back and suggestively like raises 
her legs apart and points to her Caucasian pussy. Caucasian? Yeah, well, the, the Islamic uh, people it, in that time, they got hung up on Caucasians from the Caucasus Mountains up, you know, uh, back roads behind uh, Azerbaijan. Okay. Because, uh, because of their tradition, you know, their Islamic law, uh, they could not fuck with, they had to like get slaves from beyond the borders of the Ottoman Empire. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, like the ISIS, ISIS people did, you know, with the Yazidis, who are a pre Islamic Mesopotamian sort of blend of older religions. And uh, yeah, they took about 5,000 Yazidi women, girls. Uh, as sex slaves. Figured it's okay. They're not like straight cut Islamic chicks, so you know, cage them up and yeah, sad. Um, okay, so um, By doing that, by that pose, by that erotic pose on your back, holding your legs apart with your knees, uh, tempted Falcon to lick her up. I mean, she's still glistening, still perspiring. So I'll lick her up from head to toe with a major pit stop <laughs> in her nether jungle regions, uh, as they say in Holland. And... Um, to the bone, get in there and um, <laughs> well, uh, that you teach Falcon or even the Sultans in uh, Constantinople uh, to. Um, Stop fucking white chicks, the Caucasian chicks, because after just seven generations, uh, the Sultan of Istanbul was 0.2% hunky Persian and swarthy, <laughs> you know, uh, of his own original breed. And then he was 99.8% what? White? Caucasian? And this eventually led to the problems that we have today, right here in America. White nationalism. Whew. You know, and... Um, that's why white nationalists uh, hate hippies, you know. I don't know. I was at the Rainbow Gatherings in Montana and Idaho, and those local guys <laughs> didn't like us doing what we were doing. Lots of wiggly wiggly in the, in the woods there. Um, because uh, we hippies, we'll fuck anybody, you know. Uh, or in my case, uh, any available female willing to, uh, you know, uh, remind me what I'm supposed to do and put what where? Uh, I remember there's a lot of wiggly wiggly uh, involved in a kind of a horizontal body slabbing uh, Wiggling? Uh, well, mission well accomplished, huh? So Roxana goes back up in the body basket to the Grand Bath, where she is cheered by the 400 other freed harem women. 
they're not slaves anymore. And uh, as she uh, redoes her makeup, she needs a whole new facial, you know, uh, to get off the uh, microscopic plant scum and whatever falcon coated on uh, after that. 